Critical Path Method. Critical Path is another technique to do with the schedule network analysis. It's again a very popular technique, and we will be studying this method in the next few slides. First, let me explain what a critical path is. Critical path is defined as the longest duration path through a network diagram, and determines the shortest time to complete the project. We will shortly learn on how to identify a critical path in a network. Float. Is another concept, which is quite important in understanding the critical path. Float is calculated once a network diagram is ready. There are three kinds of float that can be calculated. The first being the total float, which is the amount of time an activity can be delayed without delaying the project end date or an intermediary milestone. The second type of float. Is free float, which is the amount of time an activity can be delayed without delaying the early start date of its successor or successors' activities. The last type is project float, which is the amount of time a project can be delayed without delaying the externally imposed project completion date required by the customer or previously committed by the project manager. You can think of a float as a cushion time available to complete an activity. Float is also called slack. Now let me ask you, what is the slack of the activities on the critical path? The answer is zero, because there is no scope to delay activities on the critical path. Critical path actually represents the project duration. They actually add together to the project duration. So where is the scope for the delay? Delaying activities on the critical path is as good as delaying the project duration.